Folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to Good Works Tractors. Today we are gonna be putting in a UTV sprayer, all right? This is a 45 gallon electric pump driven, not the PTO driven like on the tractors, but something similar for the UTV. Now, if you have a tractor and you wanna get a three point mount PTO driven sprayer, we did a video on those recently and you guys had a great idea. I mean, it's like just a built in way for, for me to sell more product, right? And it was like, Let's have one sprayer for the nasty stuff, the herbicides, Roundup, or whatever weed killers you want. Another sprayer for your fertilizers, the good stuff, you know? So we're gonna keep that other sprayer for the nasty stuff, and we're gonna set this sprayer up for just the good stuff. Now, of course, you don't have to do that, but we're gonna do that just because we have different products here we can show you. And this is gonna be the more basic, I guess, uh, UTV sprayer that we have. Now, there is a more deluxe one, a real fancy one. And it's not gonna work with our Ranger. We've got a crew cab Ranger here, but it's got a swing arm. So you put the sprayer in your bed, and it's got a swing arm that comes around. So right out your door, you can hit different switches to control different sections of it, turn it all off and on that way. Real fancy, real nice, but it's the swing arm only reaches for like a regular cab. This is a, a crew cab unit, so it's not gonna work for us. So we're using the, the, uh, the simpler version today. Okay, so you're gonna get a box like this when you buy it. And it'll say on there, I think it says, boom, not included, must be purchased separately, okay? So you're gonna get a second box with a boom in it as well. So that's what's in here. So we're gonna go through it just like you're receiving it, open up the box, get it all assembled, put together. I have not used one of these UTV sprayers. I've, I've used the, uh, the three-point sprayers. I expect it to be pretty similar. Folks, we just got done putting this thing together in the UTV. Let's go through the features first, then we'll take you through the assembly process, how it went for us, and then we're gonna take it outside and do a little spray test on the concrete and see how it does. So this is the 45 gallon UTV sprayer, 12 volt electric pump, four gallons per minute, really easy to put together, took about 30 minutes, not bad at all. Uh, these booms, or these handles I guess, or uh, what do you wanna call these, bars? They're gonna come off real easy with these, with these knobs. You just loosen these up, you slide them out if you wanna take this out of the back of your UTV. On this side, you have a little quick coupler that takes that whole hose off. So you can just loosen these up. I'll show you right now real quick, because it's a piece of cake. Loosen those up. Maybe that's enough. Just like that, the whole thing comes off. Then you can open your, your tailgate. You know, slide this whole thing out. We have it strapped down right now. Um, but you can slide this whole thing out. It has the grab handles on here in four different locations. So when it's empty, one person, really easy to do. If you did have some liquid in here, it adds up quick. On that note, if this is completely full, it does weigh 460 pounds when it's full of fluid. You can see down below, you do have a filter and a drain as well. So areas to check down there for sure. Good thing I did check that now. Make sure that's nice and tight. We're not gonna take this out now. We're gonna be putting it uh, well, at least testing it out with the water here pretty soon. So this boom height is adjustable. These knobs here allow you to raise it, lower it. I don't know, we'll give it a shot right here. Maybe it's a good height, maybe it's not. Each individual nozzle is adjustable, or on and off, I should say, okay? So you can turn this nozzle on and off. Same thing with any of these. We're gonna make sure we leave them all on right now, okay? Now, this is really cool. This is a multi-lid. Wait till you see this, it's pretty slick. Built-in measuring cup right there for you. That's pretty sharp. So you can add all your, your fertilizer, herbicide, whatever you want in there, okay? Pretty handy to have, that's a really cool feature. Tighten that up. Um, now you are gonna have a, a wand here, all right? Um, over 30 foot, let me see what it said. Uh, 37 foot horizontal spray, 21 foot if you're shooting straight up in the air. For some reason, it goes 21 foot up in the air. Uh, but a 25 foot hose on there too. Now we hooked this up to our battery. If you wanna have a standalone battery, you could do that as well, throw that back here. But the line, the cabling has the switch, the on off switch on there. So if you did put like a separate battery back here, for instance, you'd have to get creative on how to uh, turn it on and off from the operator station, you know, from up in the driver's seat if you wanted to do that. Okay, so here's our pump, uh, very simple, pressure gauge as well. Now you'll see on here, it might be hard to see with the shadows, but this says pressure adjust, so pressure adjustment. You can just turn this valve one way or the other to adjust the pressure, and this is gonna turn um, flow on to the boom, you know, on and off that way. And similar to the three-point mount PTO-driven unit, gonna be a corrosion-resistant polyethylene tank, really, 
I mean, everything's plastic on here of some kind besides uh, you got the wand with some steel, you know, probably some steel components I would hope on the, on the pump, but not a lot to corrode and, and get just destroyed by the elements. You know, obviously a, a few little um, brackets here that are steel as well, look to be powder coated. But overall, the majority of this is plastic, so it's gonna be corrosion resistant, which is nice. All right, let's take you through the assembly to show you how easy this is to do, and then we'll tackle that spray test. All right, so oh, no tape on this. Let's pull this open here. Okay, cool. That's gonna be our boom right here. You can see there's, what do they call that? That, uh, what do they call that kind of fitting on there? I forget. Well, you got that fitting on there. It's like a push fitting. You push it right onto the hose. You used to use them all the time in the uh, sprinkler world. The term slips my mind right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Almost all put together, huh? Got this here. Gator clips for the battery. Some other bracket stuff. Not bad. I think we've got everything we need here. Pretty easy to put together. I think it's just going to kind of sit in here like that, and we'll put these put these mounts how do they connect? Oh, they go right through there. Jeez. Yeah, okay. We'll put them through there like that. Okay, I mean, I, I guess I could probably look at the instructions here. Sometimes I just like to look, figure out how things are put together. On the way back from Florida, I had to go through Louisville. And the site of that farm show is basically five hours of the dot from here. So we should go to that next year. Step two, thread pressure gauge into open port on manifold as shown. Thread multi-lid onto tank. I found that open port. Look at that, it's even got the tape on there and everything. Look, assemblies like these that make me feel like a genius. Like I could do anything. All right, step three. With the unit in a UTV box, slide the boom mount tubes into the tank mounts and tighten the lob, the lobe knob. Secure tank using tie-down straps, not included. Ooh, they had a few of those. Okay. Push that back. Close her up. And let's see here. Insert this. So let's tighten down these knobs that knob there. I guess you just go back as far as got a firm stop there. So you have 25 foot of of uh, hose here. Tell you what, it feels good. You guys probably don't know it, but we were hiding that Summit tractor for months, right in almost plain sight. Feels good not to have to hide that anymore. I wonder if we're hiding anything else. Are we hiding anything else? Probably. Boom. All right. These should work. Should be all we need. I think I got these from Mighty. Mighty products, if I remember right. Got a nice, a nice little strap. Step four, slide the boom clamps up the boom knob, boom mount tubes and install the quarter inch carriage bolt and lobe knob. Make sure the boom clamps are installed with the square carriage bolt holes or two, two boom mount holes to the inside 
on the lobe knob. It's the carriage bolt hole on the inside. Boom, knob, lube, lobe, knob, hole on the outside. So like that. Get that through there. I'm gonna tighten that. Hopefully pull that in a bit. Okay, that's good enough for now. I think this is the right way. Put these on the outside. Step four done. To install a boom, not included. Using U-bolts and nuts, attach the boom to the boom clamps. These came with the, the boom as well. I missed them the first time. I don't know if this is level or not, but we can level it out. Oh, that's interesting though. Oh, these things probably slide, huh? Yeah. I didn't center up the tank in the bed, did I? Recenter that. Back. Good. Touch that. Way. Okay. Okay. It's pretty well centered. Oops. Probably don't need to go a whole lot there. Got the switch right there. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so your on off switch is right there. So you gotta hook it up to the quick disconnect here. Okay. Similar to quite a few of the other, identical I should say. Although this feels like a little bit heavier wire but maybe maybe it's not i don't know okay that's good there so you just have the one cable so our battery is in the middle of the back row inside the cab i'm gonna route it like that so this keeps the on off switch yeah that, should, that might be just fine throw it on that side I'll have the on off switch right here. Could, could maybe even go like that if these are long enough. Our battery is right here. But I'm going to see if I can close this door first. Otherwise, I might have to just roll it through, put it through the window, and keep the window open and crack. I don't know if this will, I don't know if this will close. Works. Or not. All right, it's all set up, all finished installing it. Time to do that spray test just with the water. Probably gonna be some adjustment on that pressure adjustment knob that I showed you over here earlier. We'll play around with that, see if we can get it just right. Look at that. Made in the USA. All right, so. Off, off. That's gonna be on. I think we got these upside down. Is 
that center one comes out to about here and then a bit of overlap from there out to here that's pretty good I think so you can adjust the the angle of these nozzles not that red one well not that it would do you much good anyways but you can adjust these kind of straight down or straight out or up in the air whatever you want to do I don't know, I kind of found a sweet spot, maybe not a 45, but uh, a little bit closer towards vertical that seemed to work and have the best pattern based on what we were doing. So if you're not getting the coverage that you want, adjusting this nozzle, changing that angle could make the difference. Hey, one thing I didn't mention is that there is an angle of adjustment this way. And so each click is 15 degrees. Uh, the manual says the optimal angle is 15 degrees, which is one click. So, you know, you have a level here and then one clicks 15 degrees up from level. So anyway, um, just a quick tip. That's how you do it. Just click, click, click. Easy enough. All right, folks, so that's a good look. I think we've got it set up okay for now based on the spray test that we did. So you kind of play around with this, uh, this pressure adjustment here and find that sweet spot. The pressure goes down a little bit once you've fired up. So you just kind of play with that. You get the setting you need, and then it's a matter of calibrating it. Um, there's, a, there's a chart inside the manual that can help you do that. You can do test strips based on speed and, and, uh, and PSI and everything else that's going on. So you can set that up to really fine tune it for what you need. I'm all out of my fertilizer, so a trip to Tractor Supply is in my near future. We'll put this thing to work though, but I think I might, I might break my word and we may end up taking this out to uh, our other property where we have uh, clover. We got to mow that down and spray uh, Clothodum, cloth, clothodum, that stuff that kills the grasses out there. Uh, we're gonna have to use some of that. So we may use this and then have to clean it out and then switch over to all the fertilizers. I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out, but stay tuned for that. So if you are in the market for one of these sprayers, whether it's for a UTV, an ATV, or for your tractor, we'd love to help you out. Visit goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship tractor attachments and some UTV attachments all over the country. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.